next year. Well, it's been 50 years since nuclear fusion research at Princeton was declassified, opening the field to an ever wider network of scientists. International collaboration on this long-term energy alternative could help address global problems. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Solar panels and wind turbines offer two ways to convert some of the energy Earth receives from the sun into electrical power. The vision for fusion, though, goes right back to the source, imitating the sun itself by harnessing the same kind of nuclear reaction that powers stars. Researchers see a path, even if it's a long one, from fusion experiments, which have produced the equivalent of megawatts for a few seconds, to industrial technology for one to two gigawatt electric power plants. That's comparable to big coal plants, it's comparable to nuclear fission power plants, so it would fit into the, into the energy economy as a baseload energy source. And now what's exciting is that worldwide we have a, a collaboration of many countries working together to build an experiment that will make hundreds of millions of watts of power from fusion for very long times, for 15, 20 minute pulses uh, that will show that fusion can be technologically and scientifically uh, feasible. Active in this field since the early 1970s, Rob Goldston argues that the advantages of fusion, the other nuclear energy, may be worth waiting for. When people think about nuclear energy, they divide up the, the concerns about nuclear energy, and, and this is really about fission energy, which is the kind of energy that is currently in power plants. They worry about safety, waste, and nuclear proliferation. Goldston says fundamental differences between fusion and fission eliminate the most serious safety risks and drastically reduce waste storage concerns. Even more important in his view is that fusion technology simply can't contribute to nuclear proliferation. Here I'm worried that we have a real issue with climate change. We have a real issue with needing sources of energy that don't emit carbon dioxide. If we rush in to tremendous expansion of nuclear fission power, particularly in unstable parts of the world, you can worry that people can get access rather easily uh, to the plutonium that is produced in those power plants. A nice thing about fusion is that you don't need to have any uranium, any plutonium, anywhere near this system. It doesn't have that risk that, uh, that uh, nuclear fission has. Patrick Regan, NJN News.